a um it's Friday excuse me June tenth. It's been taking me um <clears throat> A while to come up with words lately it just started again yesterday I also woke up yesterday with the headache a lingering headache that lasted all day my neck hurts all that crap blah 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 <laughs> sick of talking about it but it is what it is you know I'm going to the doctor today to talk about neck pain because I've been seeing physical therapist and getting neck traction, which does help alleviate some pressure sometimes. Um, and I've been seeing the chiropractor who took x-rays and <sighs> said that Although my neck is where it should be aligned with my shoulders, probably because I'm always going like this and getting my shoulders back, um, that my neck is straight up. It doesn't have that curve. And that three of my bones or vertebrae or whatever you call them are like almost fused together. According to the x-ray, there's not a lot of uh, tissue or between the bones, so they're kind of collapsed on top of each other and they're growing bone spurs, which means they're kind of growing over each other. The physical therapist said there was a bone. She tried to like, you know, wiggle and move and she just couldn't get it to budge. I imagine that's probably the one in between the other two. But I have had a lot of neck pain. Um, I always do, but now I know why. The chiropractor said that I have the aging neck of a 55 year old and I'm 43. So it's um, degenerating way quicker than it should be. And um, so since I found out I have the bone spurs like three weeks ago, I've been um, putting a lot of ice around my neck and it has been um, helping with the inflammation a lot and the pain and I'm starting to think that maybe a lot of the inflammation I'm getting is probably related to that. So I'm gonna see the doctor today to see what we could do about that and show my x-rays because although we have great technology, my chiropractor couldn't just email or upload or send my x-rays to my fucking doctor. So I have to old school style it and he made me a disc and I'm gonna take the disc. So I thought, oh, let me upload this disc into my laptop and save this file so I have my own pictures. And I couldn't even open them. <laughs> Duh, they're x-rays. So I have to have like an x-ray program or machine or something, who knows? I don't know how that shit works, but I couldn't see the pictures. I kind of wanted to have a picture so I could have it on my phone and I could show my physical therapist um, what they're working with. Or whoever, or my next doctor, or whatever. So I don't know what can be done. I know surgery is an option, but that's like a last resort for me. Now it makes a lot of sense why even just a little bit of head banging really hurts. <laughs> and um, I'm just always like stretching because I feel so tense and tight. And if 
them move a certain way, like bam, there goes my whole day. <laughs> Headache, um, pain. It just like radiates all the way down like my feet, you know? I feel like now knowing that, um, like I'm gonna make a little more progress, but I don't know. Look at my eye, do you see that? How that one's like really high and that one's like drooping. That's another thing on my list to look at. Um, something's going on with this eye. Ophthalmologist said it's not like, I'm not closing it all the way when I blink and this one doesn't have, I'm running out of like tear ducts so it's really dry. And there's these little veins, these little squiggly lines that you have that are almost gone. And this eye to me appears a little bigger. Like you probably can't see it now. This one probably looks bigger because it's like, mm -hmm. but this one, there's something going on with that eye. Just all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> One thing at a time. 